welcome back to my channel so today is gonna be the first fall video of the season um in case nobody knows this fall is my favorite season period okay i know my birthday is in the summertime and you know we love looking cute in the summertime but like it is something about fall i live on the east coast so you know i get all the seasons i get to experience all of that in full throttle and then you know the leaves start to change colors and it just looks so beautiful and the crisp air and all the vibes and yes i do like pumpkin spice okay don't come for me in the comments please but um i will be decorating this room which you guys know this is where i film my videos majority of the time but um yeah i want to decorate it because i usually go all out when decorating for fall um i decorate my bathroom my bedroom but this room i like did this year in that like you know I put it together and decorated it painted and all this stuff so you know this is going to be the first time decorating this room for the fall season so I really want to make it cute and special um I have a couple stores like on my list that I think I'm going to go to I think I'm going to go to Target, Home Goods, uh TJ Maxx maybe and Michaels and possibly the the Dollar Tree so which if you don't know about going to the Dollar Tree to get decorations you will learn today <laughs> so um yes but first we got to show this fit because obviously the makeup is done um I just wanted to do like a very soft glam look so um this is what we're giving we're giving slick back edges laid um curly bun with the scrunchie to match um my top but yes i'm gonna go through my outfit and then you know we're gonna accessorize because it's looking kind of plain right now and y'all know me you can't have that so let's just get into it okay so um as you can see this is the fit right here um it's looking kind of plain y'all know i need to accessorize to the max so um just a little bit um about this outfit I got this top from Amazon, which I was so obsessed with it that I got two other colors. I got black and then I got like the blue haze color, which is kind of like, in my opinion, like a deep teal. Um, I will put the link down below for where to shop because I know a lot of people um, like are really into tops like this right now. Like they're really trending because they're kind of like dupes to skims um, by Kim Kardashian. Um, and then I honestly can't remember where I got this maxi skirt from, but it's literally my favorite skirt in my whole entire wardrobe. I'm obsessed with it. Um, and just, yeah, so <laughs> we're wearing that and, um, I'm going to wear some sneakers as well, but I'll put those on later. So I am going to first accessorize with some waist chain belts. Um, I'm obsessed with waist chain belts, so I'll probably wear these two. Um, this one has hearts on it and I got it from Forever 21. And then this one, I think I got from Burlington a while back. So we're just gonna wear both together and see how that looks. So I have no idea what happened to the audio after recording this portion of the video, but I am wearing these studs in my ears because I want it to not uh, take away from the necklaces that I will be tearing on my neck because there's going to be quite a few of them. And I'm like clearly explaining that here, but I had the idea of wearing this tennis necklace at first because I thought it would look really cute and simple, but very chic at the same time. And then I was like, mm, I'm just going shopping in like the stores, like not like I'm going anywhere super special. So I was like, I think that my other necklaces, like this herringbone that I have, um, and my other chain necklaces will look better and like while more maximalist um definitely more in my eyes i guess casual than the tennis necklace so i put that to the side and i'm going to stack on first my hair and bone necklace which if you can see it has this really beautiful detail to it i got this from tj maxx you guys and it's sterling silver um it is just gorgeous literally one of my favorite pieces that i have in my jewelry collection and then i'm going to then next like just stack this regular chain necklace on that has no pendant for it um 
and do that on top they're sort of the same length but it looks cute all together still and then i'm gonna wear obviously my cross necklace uh, with my urn pendant on it and that i literally never like i'm never not wearing that necklace but see how it kind of gives an effect of like you know maximalism but like it's still chic and looks well put together so those are the necklaces I chose. And then I have a bunch of rings that I'm about to show you. So as you can see, a bunch of rings. Oop, I just dropped one. <laughs> but yeah, so I have a bunch of rings. And my mom always makes fun of me whenever I like wear a bunch of rings. Because she's just like, are you going to wear a ring on every single finger? But that's just like what I love to do. I love stacking rings and stacking jewelry. It's literally like one of my favorite styles just you know i go i go crazy with it it's it's my life as a maximalist okay <laughs> so um i decided to like kind of stack them like that and i'm just kind of playing with them to see like you know what looks best but in the end i chose to wear like the chunkier rings on one finger and stack the skinnier rings on the other so then um you know it kind of looks more cohesive and that's how it turned out super cute love it and it's not a ring on every finger so <laughs> now i need bracelets um again we're stacking bracelets of course so um first i'm gonna go in with this heart bracelet which after i looked at it i was like this kind of looks like my bell i'm not gonna lie so it's kind of perfect um, this one is actually like too big. Like, as you can see, I could just slip it right on, but it's going to look fine with the other bracelets, like this tennis bracelet that I have, which fits, you know, pretty good. And, um, I personally love like a good tennis bracelet. It's like the perfect staple piece of jewelry to have. And then, uh, I have a Pandora bracelet, which only has two charms on it, but I feel like, it looks good with the other bracelets and that like it's not doing too much it's still kind of simplistic but um i do have another completely different pandora bracelet that is totally separate with a bunch of charms and then i have this watch that i actually thrifted and it's perfect because it stretches so it like fits my wrist perfectly um it needs a new battery but I am I'm in love with it. It absolutely looks so cute. And with all the jewelry, that is how it turned out. So cute. Okay, and this is the completed look. I'm wearing my coach satchel bag because it's black and it'll match the skirt. But I think this look came out so cute. I'm over here looking at myself in the mirror, but yeah. And then the shoes that I'm wearing has the same color as the top in it, as well as like a little bit of like pink in it but like you can't really tell because of the skirt it'll be you know flowing on top so but yes this is the look and now we should just go and shop because i'm ready i'm ready to shop <laughs> i wanted to just give you guys a quick scan of the room before decorating i have these like fake plants that i was gonna like hang from like the opposite corners of the room but um never got around to doing that so <laughs> but this is just the room before i have like a little library corner and then i have the shelves here with cute stuff on it which gonna find a bunch of stuff to go here because obviously you can see the vibe of my room is very much nostalgia um very like almost kid core in a way but not like to the point where like it's too immature so and then i have my desk here where i usually will edit or um you know play video games or whatever um so yeah this is what we're working with this is the before also, today's um, fragrance combo is going to be the new Sol de Janeiro After Hours fragrance combined with my Mod Vanilla by Ariana Grande with my base being my uh, Vanilla Musk Nemat fragrance oil um, so then they could stick to my body longer. But you guys, I am obsessed with this. Like, I fear I'm going to run out way too soon. And since it's a limited edition fragrance, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a second one for when that one runs out. But yeah. 
that's the fragrance combination for I today. I think I forgot about my pumpkin spice latte that I made this morning. Um, I have the coffee in here, which by the way, the other side of this is Hello Kitty. So cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour, you know what? Let me pour this over the sink because I'm not trying to make a mess. Hold on. Okay, perfect, no spills. And we're just gonna put some milk. I just do like, you know, mostly the like coffee and then like maybe like a third of milk. Just like 2%, that should be enough. And fun fact, I only drink iced coffee. Like I don't like hot coffee. So just gonna mix that. I wish I had like a fall to go thing, like the mug. Bussin. Okay, we're ready to go. It is Target. Um, I typically go to a Target that is actually closer to me than this one, but this one has more of the items that I'm looking for um, in stock at this location. So, um, but can y'all see the sky in the back? That looks absolutely beautiful. God be doing his thing. Okay, um, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get into it. So I while I'm here, I do need to re-up on some things that I'm running out of that I use on a daily basis. So I'm gonna be shopping for more than just that in or decor in Target because I am a Target girly and Target is my go-to destination for just about everything under the sun and I use the app religiously. So, so I found these candles. They're like fake candles that are battery operated but I found them. They're only $3 up at the very front when you first walk into Target which is like a really good deal. So okay so i finally made my way to the candle section and this pumpkin pancakes candle was amazing it was so good so obviously i had to go ahead and put that one in the cart for sure um i was smelling a bunch of other ones this pumpkin cheesecake cookie one which i know sounds really complicated and i'm not gonna lie it was it smelled really bad to me fun fact i actually really don't like cheesecake at all um a couple of the like scents that i smelled like were either like not very fragrant or like just didn't smell good at all to me so I guess in a way I can be kind of picky when it comes to candles but um I like a candle that smells like really like sweet and sugary but like not like I guess like straight sugar if that makes sense I don't know maybe I'm a bit complicated but <laughs> I am quite picky when it comes to candles so um the autumn harvest one was it was okay but I wish it was a bit more fragrant because it didn't really it wasn't as pungent as the other one um and same thing with this like um orchard or orchard <laughs> I suck at saying that word um orchard cider like it smelled nice in like like apples and stuff you know in fall time but like again I wish it smelled like more fragrant like like stronger you know like it'll fill the room when I light it but then I found this one that was called cozy nights and that one shocked me that one smelled really good and it was it was shocking because it was light but it was still really good so I was like I had to get that one so next, as you can see, I ended up in the doll section where the Bratz were located. And I had my eye on this Fiona doll for a while from the Series 3 Bratz doll collection drop. And um, I was like thinking it would look really cute on my shelves. Um, I also was debating whether I wanted to get uh, Felicia, but I thought her look 
was more wintry so i think i'll just save her for the winter time and get her then but i thought that fiona's look was perfectly fall and would look really cute on my shelves so i had to grab her stop number two i am parked outside of dollar tree dollar tree i'm specifically looking for like cute garland and fake flower arrangements that i could put together so i can put them like on the shelves or maybe like hanging from my curtain rods and stuff um so that is the goal and i have a very good feeling i'll be able to find some cute stuff because usually i find cute garland at um dollar tree so that's what i'm going to be looking for so fast forward in tj maxx i found this little candle that smelled like sour gummies and it was only five dollars so i thought it was cute and grabbed that and i was looking for some throw pillows like one to to go on my chair in my room and I thought this hocus pocus one was cute but I was like mm, I don't know and then this hello pumpkin one was cute as well but I was thinking it wasn't like cutesy enough for the the room decor like if it would correspond with everything else in the room and for $17 I didn't know if it was worth getting so I ended up only getting the All candle right who is ready for a haul because we've got a lot of stuff to go through this is stuff i've already had we're gonna go through this see what we can add without you know um using all of it because some of this is gonna go in my bedroom but yeah we're gonna see what we got here okay so here's the haul from i didn't record very much in well <laughs> at all we're actually in um Dollar Tree, but this was the floral arrangement that I put together. The lady was so nice to keep it like put together the way I did. So I put these pieces together to make a cute floral arrangement and I think it'll look nice on the shelves. So we got that. And then I also got this really cute, you guys saw this wool um, candle that smells like sour gummies from TJ Maxx so that'll look cute on the shelf as well I feel like it's going to be the shelf that's decorated the most that and the curtain area situation um now you guys saw in Target I grabbed Fiona because I feel like her look is very much fall-esque and I think she would look really cute on the shelf along with um, my Hayden Williams uh, Collector's Bratz, the Yasmin one. I got two more candles. Now, I, I might return these only because I was looking through all my fall candles. I think I got enough for both rooms. <laughs> I think I have enough for not just this room, but my bedroom. Cause I was like, mm, let me just go through what I have. And the thing is they smell amazing. I was really mainly looking forward to this pumpkin pancake because, oh, that just smells so good. But this cozy night, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she can go back. She can probably go back because she's a bit dark for this room. You know what I'm saying? So, but then again, that might be very fall. No, I think she's gonna go back. I think she's gonna go back. So, um, I think though these candles will these fake candles. Goodness gracious, me and candles, even fake ones are gonna look really cute, especially because I have these like fairy lights that are of like leaves and pumpkins and they can look really cute, kind of like falling off of the, you know, thing and maybe on the the uh, curtain, I'll probably put one of these in the window seal and one of these on there, um, but yes, these will be cute. I'm almost sad I didn't get a third one because maybe it could have gone on my desk somewhere. So when I go and return that, I might, I might get another one. I might get another one. So there's that. Um, and then everything else is personal stuff for me because like I said, I was doing other shopping while I was at Target. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think I'm gonna return both of these. <laughs> Um, because like seriously, like let me just 
show you how many candles I have. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Like, look at all these. I, I have this one that smells like pumpkin donut shop from Bath and Body Works, um, which is not fully done yet. I have this one that is pumpkin snickerdoodle, which is my favorite from Bath and Body Works, which I was going to buy a whole brand new one, but this one's not even <laughs> close to being finished. Um, I have leaves from Bath and Body Works. I think I got this one from Kohl's. Um possibly but this one is wild blueberry tart it smells so amazing i think this one will probably go in there because it doesn't really go with my room but i think that that this being a dark candle it, it'll be fine you know it'll go with the decor probably um apple spice donut this one's also from kohl's this one smells amazing i think i'll put that one in there because that red will pop um I think I also want to put this one in there just because it's pink and girly. Um, I got this pumpkin spice latte. Like, that one's nice, you guys. And then this one is actually really cool. It's a crackling one, so, like, it makes noise, but, like, it looks like like tree bark. Um, so that might be cool, too, but I think I want to keep that one in my bedroom. So I think I'm going to leave these four for my bedroom and put these three in the in the other room and then I have two room sprays both from well actually three um this one's from TJ Maxx it smells like orange and cinnamon and then these two are both from um Bath and Body Works fresh fall morning and then the uh, vampire blood I think I'm gonna keep fresh fall morning in mm, wait I don't know yeah, that will stay in my bedroom. This one will go, because this one's more fruity. Um, and this one's a bit more, like, fresh. And I, I, I like this for my bedroom. So these will go in the other room. These will stay in my bedroom here. They kind of dusty on top. That's just because I stored them away. But, yes. So, you see? I have enough. I will return the other. <laughs> I will return the other ones. So as you can see, I'm starting to take things down. And at first I was only taking certain things off, but eventually I just ended up taking, I want to say 95% of the stuff that was on there before off. Um, because, you know, I was like, man, I have more things than I thought <laughs> that were on these shelves that I don't want to keep on it. So, you know, I was just, you know, taking things down and also trying to get an eye for how I would reposition things as I was putting the new stuff up because um you know when positioning things on shelves you don't want them to look like too symmetrical like every shelf is positioned the same way you know you kind of want them to be like stagnant and you know um not as symmetrical so <laughs> if that makes sense so yeah you know, it took me some time to kind of get it the way I really wanted it to, but I eventually got a feel for it. Okay, so next it was time to tackle the curtains window seal area. So like I said, I put that fake candle um, in the window sill. And then I had this sign that usually I would hang on um, like one of my doors on the outside. But um, my mom intends on getting like matching wreaths for all the doors in the hall. So I figured it would look cute just kind of like hanging in the center from the uh, curtain rod. And I positioned it so then it was straight. And then I had this garland that <laughs> a while back, maybe like sometime last year, uh, accidentally somehow like split in two. But 
that's okay. It worked out in my favor because I figured I could just kind of hang it kind of like symmetric like on each side where like the curtains are hanging from so I just you know as best as I could on my step stool whilst on my tippy toes because that's just how short I am <laughs> tried to position it um so then it you know would just kind of drape over um you know delicately so like I kind of had to do a little trick with tucking it behind the rod and you know under the curtain and all that jazz but it ended up turning out really nice and like I did on that side I just kind of you know similarly did it on the other side um and you know of course just taking a step back to making sure that everything looked right um otherwise I would have to get up there and do it again because <laughs> like I said I had to get on my tippy toes and on the step stool that I had so um, yeah, I think it ended up turning out really cute. Um, and, you know, added like a little extra, you know, oomph to the room, you know, added some color and also just made it feel like, you know, fall leaves were all around me. So I really like how it turned out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I just finished the room and it looks so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's super cute, it still fits the vibe of the room, but like just gives it that that fall feel that it needed. Like it's it's literally like just enough where it's like, oh yeah, it's fall, you know, like you can feel it. But um, who's ready for a grand reveal? <laughs> and here is the room, you guys. It turned out so cute. Look at how cute the shelves look with all the decor on it um i have a blanket there i hung i ended up hanging some lights from the top of the mirror instead but look at how cute the windowsill turned out it's like just enough like i just love the pop of color and it ended up looking really nice with my curtains you know since they're yellow um but yeah i can just imagine at night it's gonna look so beautiful and like you know with all the fairy lights and just oh I love it. So I would probably say, obviously, the shelves would have to be my favorite by far. And that is it, you guys. That is the completed room decor video. Uh, by the way, I already had this blanket. I didn't buy this. So yeah. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different than what I usually put on my channel, but I really actually love like decorating my rooms and like home decor and interior design and stuff. So I wanted to kind of step into that realm a little bit, especially with my favorite season coming. So um, like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. Hi, my name is Destiny, if you're new um, and yeah, let me know if you guys like videos like this. Um, you know, it was fun for me. It was a bit chaotic at times, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I mean, what else is new? It's me, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!